Children in northeast Nigeria are encouraged to go to school to avoid becoming targets for radicalization by Boko Haram and other armed groups. In Adamawa State, a local program is offering free food and classes to draw children away from the streets. Take a look. Like other young boys on the streets, six-year-old Ali Muhammad could become a target for recruitment by Boko Haram terrorists if left without care and guidance. Many children in the northern region roam the streets for food. They are known as Almajri boys who leave home in search of knowledge in Islam. Previously, families of such boys would send them to boarding schools across northern Nigeria where they could learn the Quran under the care of an Islamic scholar or malam. But over time, the system is overwhelmed and unable to adequately provide for the boys. Many Malams started sending these boys out to the street to solicit arms for their upkeep, exposing them to abuse and extremist radicalization. Courtesy of a program called Feed and Read, organized by the American University of Nigeria, Idiola, the boys now get free food and classes in English and mathematics. The university says the lessons do not interfere with the children's religious studies, as the boys attend religious classes in the daytime, then meet at the university's car park in the evenings. <laughs> It is very relevant. If a child has foundation in the Islamic school, it is necessary that he has the Western education because if he go to the hospital or other places, in fact, everything requires Western education. If a child grows up and cannot write his name or count numbers, then there is a big problem. The boys are grouped according to age and time of enrollment, with the curriculum expanding as the boys advance. Some of the university undergraduates teach the classes as volunteers, but it's also part of their own assessment. The program also aims to encourage people to stop referring to the boys as al a word that tends to carry negative connotations of a bothersome child. The boys themselves are encouraged to stop seeing themselves as misfits. They don't know anything in regard to Western education. So by so selling this idea to the community, so we people, we decided to at least volunteer our own part in lifting the life and the open knowledge to these children. The organizers say the program, which started a few years ago with limited resources, is beginning to get the attention and support of international donors. About 200 roughly in each program. Um, some people have come forward to support it, but the numbers don't seem to be going down even though most of the internally displaced people have gone home. This is not a short-term problem. These are children who've been left behind. The broader aim, they say, is to take as many children as possible off the streets and give them a chance at a better future.